गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट टर्मिनेशन ऑफ यूकैरियोटिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो यूकैरियोटिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑकर्स इन थ्री फेजेस इनिशिएशन इलांगेशन एंड टर्मिनेशन इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इनिशिएशन एंड इलांगेशन today we will talk about the termination so once polymerase has reached the end of a gene it encounters a specific sequence it is called poly a signal sequence the sequence is a a u a a a so rna polymerase transcribes this sequence after transcribing these two proteins are transferred cpsf and csdf cpsf is cleavage and polyadenylation specificity factor and csdf is cleavage stimulation factor once cpsf and csdf are bound to the rna other proteins are recruited leading initially to rna cleavage and then polyadenylation so rna is now cleaved from the rna polymerase polyadenylation is mediated by an enzyme called poly a polymerase it adds 200 adenine residues to the rna's 3 prime end okay now in bacteria rna transcripts are ready to act as mrnas and get translated into proteins right now but in eukaryotes it is little bit different the rna transcripts which are directly transcribed are called pre mrnas so basically this is pre mrna now they need to go through a few more steps to become an actual mrna and there are three steps capping tailing and splicing so what is capping a 7 methyl guanosine cap is added to the 5 prime end of the primary transcript here is the cap it is added at the 5 prime end of the rna transcript what is this this is 7 methyl guanosine and three enzymes are involved in this capping process rna triphosphatase guanylyl transferase and methyl transferase next process is tailing this is also known as polyadenylation so this step just now i have explained that process of addition of adenylate residues to the 3 prime end of the pre mrna is called the tailing the enzyme poly a polymerase adds adenine nucleotides to the 3 prime end of the pre mrna and 200 to 250 adenine residues are added in this 3 prime end this is the tailing process i have explained it already both the cap and the tail protect the transcript and help it get exported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm and in the cytoplasm the mrna will be translated right and the third step is splicing so there are many non coding sequences present in the primary transcript and they are called introns so here many introns are there in the mrna so the removal of these non coding sequences and the reattachment of the coding sequences into a continuous molecule is the process of splicing so exons are joined and introns are removed suppose this is the example here you can see two exons are there 
and in between it is intron. So this intron is removed and these two exons are joined. This is called a splicing method. So in my next lecture, I will discuss about splicing mechanism in detail. Please stay tuned. And this is all about today's lecture. Hope you liked my lecture. Thank you for watching my video.